Hello, hello, Freedom Fighters. With the new Major Order launch, Super Earth High Command has rallied all our forces to the Terminated Front and literally told us to leave the bots alone for now. So, Malevolent Creek has to wait. I know a lot of you are excited to take it back, but we have our orders. Fori Prime and Zagun Prime are the target planets, and we are doing a big offensive right now, pushing further into the Terminated Homeland. And with that, we get to see more of their species. If you have been away from the war for a bit, here's a quick rundown on what they are. I know it has been a while and people have been sharing teasers, but the Shriekers, these bat-like creatures, are officially part of the Terminated roster when it comes to fucking you up. While they don't deal a lot of damage, similar to its walking and hopping counterpart, the Hunters, they come in swarms. They do fall from the skies with a few bullets, but because of how missions play out, you can't exactly focus them down when you're being manhandled by a posse of whatever the fuck they have on the ground. My biggest note on taking these bats down is that be careful when they're doing their swoopy swoop thing because they will kill you. When you kill them in this animation, their body will slam you like a pancake. So make sure if they're doing their swoop, shoot them, then dodge. When dealing with this flying fox, you have to think of them like the stalkers. You have to take down their nest, otherwise they'll keep coming and coming. There's a lot of ways to deal with their nest. It's either you walk up to it, or you can just use your explosive assets. When you walk up to it, it will allow you to call in a hell bomb, and you can blow it up. Think of it, it's like a beefier and chonkier spore. EATs and recoilless rifles, they'll do the job. With that out of the way, let's get on with the build. Now, just a little disclaimer, this is not just one build. This is like a mixing of builds that I've been using for a while. It depends on the plants modifiers. Let's talk about it. Let's get to the armors. For the armor, I have been enjoying the Butcher. First reason, I love my heavy armors. I just love being the juggernaut guy. And also, I want to have that fuck it wee ball energy when in swarms. Well, you know, unless three hunters just decide to lop your head off. Because helmets don't do anything. Helmet modifiers win. And with the primary that I'm about to mention, it's gonna feel like your Arnold from Terminator saying, Trust me. But I also change it up from time to time to medium. It's either one of the medic suits, as long as it gives you the stim bonus, just because I like having more stims. Also, the steam heal duration is just mwah. And here we go, the primary. What I've been using is the LAS sickle. This is arguably the best and most fun to use weapon in the new premium warband. The reason why I use this is simple. Unlimited ammo when used correctly, it has good damage against chaff units. And while being not the best against mediums, it still does pretty well. Also, with the new addition of these damn flying fox, um, the sickle does really well against them. Seeing as it's in a hit scan and, you know, your ammo economy is really good, you can just spam them until they die. They fly now. For my secondary, it is still unchanged. Redeemer is still my go-to. It has a fast rate of fire. It has good damage. Maybe if they add a speed loader in the future, I'll use the senator. Grenades. Now for the grenades, I have changed it. Now I use impact nades. I have been using the incendiary for the longest time, but I changed to impact nades for one reason only, and it's the freaking bile spewers. Holy hell do they spawn a lot now, and primaries are just not enough to clear them fast. So I crush on these bad boys. Okay. Now, it is time for the stratagems. Here is where I found out some hidden gems, namely the gas strike and the napalm. You guys have probably been using it already, but when I found out about this, I just couldn't let it go anymore. For my setup, what I use is the airstrike first. You guys have convinced me to use this and I have no regrets. For the longest time, I'm like, eh, I like rocket pods more because it, you know, it auto targets heavies. And I gave Airstrike a fair shot, and holy hell, I was impressed. 
At first, it does require a little bit more timing compared to the rocket pods. If you get used to it, it has more uses like mob clearing while doing damage to the heavies. Also, not to mention, it's able to close down bug holes and destroy structures. While the rocket pods auto targets the closest heavies, it's basically its only use. For the second stratagem, I run Gas Strike or Napalm. It depends on the planet modifier. If it's the atmospheric interference, or you know, the one that makes your orbital support scatter, I run Napalm. Now here's why. With the changes to the spawns, where more chaff units are present, every time a bug breach is called, just drop it on the breach and basically watch the chaff units die. Or at least, if not, if they don't die, they get low enough to be sneezed at and then it's just clearing the heavies without much pressure. Now this is a little bit of a segue from the build, but well, it's still kind of part of the build kinda. So it is uh, it is about a new booster in the premium war bond. It is effectively increasing the time where the enemy can call in their next reinforcement or for the bugs, it's the breach. Um, I run it all the time. It makes sense now to hold your ground on bug breaches since you can clear them without them chain summoning more bugs. Now don't get me wrong. It is not 100% foolproof since the spawns of patrols are still there. But reduced bug breaches is always welcome. For the support weapon, I always run the EAT. I think it's kind of self-explanatory. It's basically my anti-heavy asset. Especially with the recent buffs, it kills chargers with one shot to the head. And 2-3 to three well placed rockets on the face, the bio titans go down. Well, it's also not a bad substitution for destroying buggles when you run out of nades. I ran out of nades. This is not good. For the backpack, it's either of the two. If I want to survive more, I run the shield generator. But if I want to go gung-ho, I just use the guard dog rover. Now, with the guard dog rover, it does help, especially when you're fighting against the bats. Because while they can only shoot the bats when they're flying low enough, what they do is they help you clear out those chaff units on the ground while you're focusing on taking down the flying demons. Have I mentioned I hate these guys yet? But it does come at a cost that you not being able to do your sneak around route because they're going to aggro everything. And also with the possibility that it can kill you. Can you please shoot the fucking flyers, please? Drone, hello? And that is it for the build. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and get to try this out. Or at the very least, you get to mix and match it with your own builds. It's fun with you guys sharing your builds and your thoughts, and I appreciate it. Hopefully, we could keep the ball rolling. And with that, I think I've wasted enough of your time already. You can now go back to spreading freedom, Helldiver.